place's vibe is kind of weird. Masses and masses of grapevines everywhere. Just it's ridiculous. Stuff isn't just quite growing right the way you normally see it. I think I found something. And if I'm right, I don't want anybody to know where it is because it's an uncharted spot. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but where I'm at, <laughs> you look around here, it's a little bit creepy. There are just so many wild grapevines, like they're just growing up to choke any intruders that might happen about to be here. I mean, look at this. It's a wild grapevine going up. Down there is another one. Another one going up over there, over there. Look right over there. That huge one right there. Big mammy jammy. Almost as big as that other one I found. Twisted up gnarly. Going everywhere. The crows just add to the creepiness. And a hawk. Okay, so the birds are really starting to freak me out. There's a lot of stuff going on in this area. Something big was sleeping here. That area is all flattened and matted down. Something was laying down there resting or sleeping. Oh, there's a big pile of crap over there, too. So you can see I've just been gradually following this nice, well, fairly easy to me area to come up through. And then I hit this. All of a sudden, I've got a bunch of rock up ahead. Not just small stuff, big stuff. And if I'm right, there might be a cave. It looks promising. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. This is the fun of exploring. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay. I've got a bunch of limestone rock. And beautiful with the moss covering it. And the hill keeps going back up that way. But this area right in here looks, let's see, it's a big dead tree there. Okay, that's the great one. What's that we got here? Well, we can't get in there and look. Okay. That doesn't go anywhere, but look at those rocks there. Of course, there's a dead cedar tree making it more creepy, saying, keep out. Oh, what's that over there? What's that? Da -da -da -da. It's looking down there. That's Okay, we've got some animal tracks going. <gasps> Looky here. Look, 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 look. <gasps> yes. I believe Look down there. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely a cave. There is quite a breeze coming out of there. It means there's some size to it. It's big enough to wriggle in, but I see scratch marks on the wall from claws, so. That would be some kind of animal down in there. I'm gonna send you in, okay?
Ooh. Watch the head. Ah. But I'm willing to bet if you dug and moved some of these rocks out, you'd hit a really, really big opening. I mean, that one's big enough to get in. I ain't going. Out here, nowhere. I'm not doing it. I've only got one light. Yep, I always say it with caves. Never anger the raccoons or possums, whatever maybe. I still want to do it though, but there's some more rock down there. Let's go check that out. So that's the spot where the cave is. And there is some more rock going down over this way. Possible there could be another opening down lower here. We will see. Very carefully. So, yep. Okay, so nothing down here. Piles of rock. And more rocky stuff over there. Just animal, animal hole. And no breeze. Oh, look here. Oh my gosh. Holy smoking Joe. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole freaking tree down there. Hello? Guys, that, that goes down there. I'm willing to bet people have been in there. Doesn't look recently, but a while ago. It's, I mean, it's fairly spacious, straight up and down access. Back in the day, a lot of hard to find caves like this were used by moonshiners to store their stash. Hmm. Okay, here you go. This definitely warrants further investigation. I'm going to check maps of known caves to make sure. And we'll check out other things. And then maybe I can get some proper lighting on a camera. Send it down there further. And see if it's worth contacting some caver friends. To see if they want to check it out. We will see. There might be a sequel to this.